We're recording. We're recording. We're starting off. We're already <laughs> laughing. It's going to be a good one, guys. going to be a good one. What up, everyone? Welcome to Two Black Girls, One Rose. Where two black-ass girls invade the whitest show on The Bachelor. The Bachelor. I'm Natasha. And I'm Justine. And we just watched the Women Tell All, or... Yeah, the Women Tell Something to yeah. somebody. <laughs> Quote-unquote women. We'll use the word women no, lightly. No. <laughs> A stage full of girls. A couple women in there. Shout out to Alexa yeah, and were. some of the, the ones in between, but... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The McKennas and the... Oh, even Tammy boy. and Caddy Foolishness. Yeah, like. Yeah. Word of mercy. Um, so, yeah. Do you have any initial thoughts? <laughs> I do. I have quite a few. No. Oh. So, for the first time ever, maybe, today, I was on Kelsey's side when she was having a very serious talk with Miss Tammy about mm. her saying she was an alcoholic and the implications yeah. that it had on her reputation. I thought that Absolutely. was really well said. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, Kelsey. Mm-hmm. Had, had and needed to be said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. You can't be throwing out shit like that. These people have actual mm-hmm. jobs. <laughs> right. Yeah, she, Kelsey's right. definitely going back to her real job. She lives in Iowa. She's definitely going back to that job. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Alea barely spoke. Why? I know. Yeah. I she thought she'd have a whole hot seat moment. Me too. Me too. Mm-hmm. She barely said a word. I was like, okay, that's weird. Yeah, that is true. Why they didn't give her more of a a moment or... I definitely thought she was going to be in the hot seat, but mm-hmm. I guess everybody, including the producers, are tired of her shit. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I yeah. can't figure out the reason. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to crack my knuckles. Oh. the mic. <laughs> Okay. Ew. Getting ready. Okay. Oh God. If this franchise wants to do better in terms of this online bullying that they keep talking about, mm-hmm. and that they had a spotlight on tonight, mm-hmm. which was hiding something else, but we'll get to that later. Mm-hmm. They have to do more than just give Rachel Lindsay the mic. Mm. They have done it. They have given her the spotlight, the stage. They have given her a job as a podcaster. She is mm-hmm. working nonstop. She works at ESPN, and we obviously support her in all those endeavors. But she cannot be the face of sacrifice for the Bachelor franchise, and I am sick and tired mm-hmm. of seeing it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Get that girl more opportunities. Get her more Instagram followers so she can get more money. Stop giving her the microphone so she can talk sense into everyone. It is Mm. aggravating. And as a black woman, I was very annoyed to see her up on that stage crying and reading those things out loud Mm. and not having Chris Harrison read those out loud or having someone who people will respect um, who would make those claims. People Mm. who make those claims are not going to listen to Rachel Lindsay reading those things out loud. This is true. And they're not going to care. So stop making her the face of sacrifice of the franchise. I'm done. You need to Mm. have better screening for these candidates. Stop chasing after the same story and start showing the Bachelor Nation audience that love comes in all colors, shapes, sizes, sexualities, genders, everything. And look all that hatred that they were talking about in the face. Mm. Demi didn't get Mm. up there. When she came out as bisexual, that didn't happen. So mm-hmm. stop, like, stop it with this. Oof. Mm. Ooh, yeah. I'm hot. My belly is hot. Preach. My ears are hot. Preach. Ooh. Yeah. So true. That, that whole cool. moment with Rachel was very irritating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I get what they were trying to do, but yeah, I was like, why do we have Rachel up here doing this? Why is she always got to, as you said, speak sense into people? Y'all mm-hmm. know who your fan base is. <laughs> the Bachelor knows what this show, who this show is for. Yes. And y'all feed this hate when you cast people like Lee on Rachel's motherfucking season. Yep. They know what they're doing. But they also and can ignore the hate that's happening on live. So they're like, oh, we have to do a little PSA real quick. Let's drag Rachel on. Like, Right. 
But you can't cast people like Lee on Rachel's season. And then if we're going to bring it to today, have Victoria F. in the hot seat and not talk about the fact that she posed for a White Lives Matter clothing line. Thank you. Thank you. Let's conveniently not talk about that. Hello. We need to talk about it. And the fact that Rachel Lindsay, well, Natasha wasn't there, but she was Mm -hmm. still the darkest one in the room. In the room. Mm -hmm. Producers. Mm -hmm. Lighting holder, boom holder, everybody. Okay, <laughs> she was the darkest mm-hmm. one in there. Why? Oh, oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> oh irritating. my god. And I'm always happy to see Rachel on my TV, but god always. damn, that was annoying. Yeah. Oh. Very Ooh. high key annoying that whole moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I ain't have a lot of notes with thoughts because I'm tired. I said, I told you I wrote down seven words. Tired of these girls and this season. I'm tired. <laughs> and, <they> end- <laughs> and I hate to be the negative. I don't like to be negative. Like, yeah, I yeah, still, right, you know, yeah. we, we still have a fun time watching the show. But this woman till all was tired because these girls tired mm-hmm. me out when they were on the damn season any damn mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, we're obviously going to do the recap, but it wasn't anything like mm-hmm. juicy happening. I want to no. hear them put Victoria F's ass on blast. What was yeah. this White Lives Matters bullshit that you was modeling for? Or yeah, right. even another confrontation, as you said, like Alea, we didn't really talk about her too much. And then Victoria P's lying ass. <laughs> Why she- <laughs> to see her in the spotlight or her in the, what they call it the hot seat yes in the hot seat for sure for sure she seemed like she was involved in all kinds of messy shit in the house but mm-hmm. is still getting this like uh what i say she looked like cinderella sleeping Bo- beauty yes, kind of edit yeah, when she was low-key yeah. like the villain of the house <laughs> Apparently she started the pill pop and shit. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Why aren't we talking yeah. about this stuff? Like, right. I can't. And then ending on that note with Rachel on this annoying ass PSA, have Rachel up there literally out of her own mouth having to say this disgust, disgusting, hateful shit that people are writing online. As yeah. you said, get somebody up there that the this fan base and these online bachelor ass haters most of whom are racist and homophobic and Mm -hmm. fucking bigots um yeah yeah get somebody why put rachel in that spotlight they're sending mad shit to her right those are the people that like i don't yeah bring ashley i out for that segment why we gotta put rachel you had ashley i out having doing the old fun the whole fun champagne gate shit but then when it comes to some dark serious shit oh let's put the person of color out there um to come teach these people a lesson come on the whole thing just see right through it yeah have ben higgins up there isn't he a christian shouldn't he be uh talking about all this you know what don't get me on Ooh, don't get me back on the box (laughs) So, yeah, those are just a little bit of our thoughts. 